So I just got some groceries. Coffee, cinnamon raisin, bread. That's what I actually use with my um, lunch every day because I eat the same things every day, almost. Um, extra creamy dipped, whatever, la la la. That's for my coffee. I got these this time instead of turkey sausage because the kind that they had, I did not like. And so this was the next, the only other option. That also goes with my lunch. Egg whites. These English muffins, which I love. I'm gonna make some sandwiches with those with some eggs. And more coffee because coffee is life, right? And then my charcoal toothpaste. I'm about to do what I'm fixing to do. Besides look on the floor for mice. I'm just kidding, there's like one mouse. Or probably not one mouse, but there has been a mouse. So I'm going to get a cat because we're out by field. And I just don't really know how else to work this problem because apparently he's eating all of my food so he's not hungry for the mouse traps. And right now I am on my own and don't want to spend money for an exterminator, pest control, or whatever. I mean, I guess that has been something. Okay, so I'm going to put this in my hair because my hair has always been really thin, but um, with a little bit of life stress lately, it's getting thinner. So, um, all right, I mean, I feel like a lot of the stressful part, well, never mind. Don't want to speak too soon. Anyways, hopefully what I'm trying to say is my hair maybe is on the men now and this I'm just seeing the results of the stress that I was going through. And then the rest of this is extensions. <laughs> anyway, so my sister Jules and my friend Jessica both used this and got really good results with it. So actually I use it too, but I probably don't use it near as much as I should. So, but I am gonna use it and I'm gonna wash my hair later. And that was very long for such a short thing to say. I don't know why I turned it off, I shouldn't have turned it off. So I just put some in my roots. I think you're actually supposed to, if there's any Monet people out there who want to comment, tell me how you're really supposed to use this. I just put it on my, put it on my roots, put it on my scalp. I think you're supposed to wipe it through your hair too, because I'm sure it's for everything. But yeah. So now I'm gonna have greasy hair until I wash it and which I guess is gonna have to be at some point tonight or early in the morning before I go to work. <sighs> All right, so I took a nap with my oily hair. I literally ate my lunch like probably two hours ago with less than that. Now I'm, I'm gonna eat some week old pizza. You know why? Because, I don't know, because I wanted cookies and used to eat pizza and cookies every whatever. And this was from last week and that I don't feel like going out, so we're saving money. We'll see, I actually already ate one pizza. It wasn't awful. It's probably fake food anyways. I'm tired. So clearly, I was like all over the place with uh, I filmed that stuff like two weeks ago and I'm barely putting it together now. So anyways, but so I quickly transitioned from one thing to the other. So I was doing my hair. Now I'm fixing to go into the workout, which is the next morning. And it, actually this is not the workout. This is the warm up. Um, the reason why I am putting this on here is because I always do my glutes on Saturdays usually. And in order to activate that better, so when that you do your weights, well, you need to warm up anyways, so that you can get your blood flowing, so you can have better muscle activation. But this is the little warm up that I do. I do it three times, um, and 20 reps on each thing. And this is so that whenever I actually work my glutes and use the weights, I will get better muscle activation, which will give me better results, and it also prevents injury. So. Okay, so I always start with a glute bridge raise, and then whenever you get to the top of the glute bridge, you separate your knees, but keep your feet planted on the ground, and this just kind of gives you a better squeeze up at the top, and in a different way. It hits a little differently. 20 reps on this, and like I said, I do three rounds. Going straight into a side leg raise, and of course, you want to do both sides, 20 reps. Just keep that leg straight, go straight up to the side, and yeah, I don't know, I was looking at the camera and smiling, because what else? What else do you do when you know it's looking at you, right? And then into a kick back, and this is actually more like a donkey kick, because it's more foot pointed up towards the ceiling instead of straight back, you can do either. Um, this way is going to get the glue just a little bit better, but it doesn't matter, straight leg or kick up, 20 on each side. 
I didn't actually end up washing my hair last night. I went to work with a hat on because, you know, I just didn't feel, and then I worked out because I didn't feel like getting up early. Y'all, I mean, this is real life beauty right here. Anyway, so I'm fixing to take a shower and wash it, and then I'll show you what I put in afterwards for, like I said, for whatever that's worth. Y'all can just help, y'all can watch with me or whatever it's called to see if this even helps or not. I've, I've heard a lot of great things about Monet, but I also heard a lot of controversial things. I don't know. At this point, and whatever, I'm sorry, my brain cells are gone because it was really hot in the gym. And that worked out, even though it was like all single leg and lighter weight was rough. But anyways. So we're out of the shower. First, I'm going to comb you know, the obvious things, combing hair, which it's not always super obvious. <laughs> but... Anyway, here we go. Which doesn't take much to comb my hair anyway. So, and then I'm gonna comb it some more whenever I'm um, blow drying it. And I should have maybe gotten it a little bit drier already because it's very wet. But, okay, so anyway. I'm gonna spray some of this in it. This is supposed to be a miracle worker. I don't know. Who knows? My hair lady told me actually. She said that she hears really good things about Monet, but she says she doesn't necessarily re recommend it because if you stop using it, then you experience a lot of hair loss. Well, my um, thoughts on that are if it actually helps you get hair, extra hair or whatever, grow your hair then you stop using it, then you're just losing the hair that you probably grew because of it. So it's not necessarily that it's making you lose hair, it's just you stopped using it. And then you're shocked because you don't remember how it feels to have less hair. So I don't really know. Um, I don't feel like I've seen like a huge <laughs> increase in hair, but then who knows what my hair would look like if I didn't use it at all. Right now, all I know is it's incredibly thin. It's discouraging. Okay. And then this Orbe Maximizing, oh, Max, Maximista Thickening Spray. So while it's still wet, like both of these go on your hair while it's still wet, just spray it. And I don't know how well it works, but it sure does smell good. All right, and I was, um, I was putting mousse in my hair. So this is the hairspray that I use and it's really, I really like it because it doesn't give me frizzies. I used to use freeze it and freeze it, maybe froze it, but it also was like cr crunchy hair. Excuse me. Anyways, oh, so, but, um, so I was putting this in it too, it's mousse, and then drying it, and it did seem like it maybe gave it some more volume, but lately because of where I work, I'm always in the heat, and I think the extra humidity is making it like look greasy more quickly and that doesn't help. So um, I'm not gonna use it. Maybe when it gets cold again. Anyways, I'm gonna go blow dry my hair. Brushing it down like this as I dry it. So here we are dried. Um, I will say like it was basically just the top of my hair. My real hair that dried my extensions are still quite wet. But um, I guess as long as your real hair is dry, that's, that's the goal. Well, the top, the top hair, just because that's what it's going to look greasy or not, so. So, you know, I'm just telling you, it's really thin. It's sad. Sad, but you know what? I have faith it's going to grow. It's going to grow back. Stress, like this month has been incredibly, the most stressful month of my entire life, and hopefully the most stressful month of my entire life. Disclaimer, so that, like I said, was two, at least two weeks ago, might have been three weeks ago. Life is getting a little bit better. And I will say that, like, I already knew at that point that what I was going through was gonna make my life better, ultimately. But sometimes, in order to get to the better parts of life, you have to go through some hard stuff, right? Actually, I mean, that's just the way it is. So, anyways, I just want y'all to know, <laughs> I am doing better today, okay? Um, yeah, and it's only going to get better from here. <gasps> Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And I will 
I'm the yes. I'm trying to do more. I'm trying to at least every two weeks. We'll see.